morning. This is Dr. Donald Pelzo, and I'm with my, one of my colleagues here, Dr. Matthew Forgs, and he is my actual optometrist, and I just got done with my eye, eye appointment, and we're going to talk a little bit about how diabetes can affect your eyes. So go ahead, Dr. Matt. All right. Thank you, Dr. Piotto. Um, yeah, diabetes is actually one of the, is the second leading cause of blindness um, uh, in the eye, second only to macular degeneration. Hmm. So it's a pretty serious condition. Um, it's something that can be completely preventable if picked up early. So even in a setting like this, is uh, early pickup and prevention is, is the key. So at minimum, people always ask us, how often should we get our eyes checked with mm -hmm. diabetes? At minimum, every 12 months. Okay. Um, and, and we do a couple things. It's checking the vision, but more importantly, is looking at the health of the inside eye, which I'll, I'll show you some pictures here. So... In, in essence, with, with diabetes, how it affects the eyes um, is it can actually affect the blood vessels uh, within the eyes. When we're in a, in a healthy retina, there's a whole network of blood vessels that come right through and nourish the surface. With diabetes, essentially what happens here is the blood vessels in our eyes are prone to leak very easily. So if we get a little leakiness of blood vessels, um, as that resolves, you can be left with little scars. Now, right in this area here in the back of our eye is something called the macula. That's where we do our central vision. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole goal is to protect that area. Once we have damage in that area, it's very hard to get it back. So, for example, a routine exam, someone might be seeing great 20-20 vision, if you will, um, we look in, and even doing a routine screening, if we see little things on the blood vessels going out here, it lets us know, okay, that needs to stop and get treated before it affects that area. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, diabetic control is the number one thing to okay. do. Okay, just controlling the blood sugar. Exactly. I mean, that's the key. Um, but if there is any changes to a diabetic eye, um, there's a whole host of treatments now. Um, laser surgery is probably the, the, the first thing. Is that uh, the same as LASIK, or is it a different? Completely different. LASIK is a refractive procedure on the front of the eye. Mm -hmm. This is a laser um, that actually seals broken blood vessels. Um, mm -hmm. to how to, so if you have a broken blood vessel in this area, they can seal it before it gets in and affects different parts of the retina. So sometimes with diabetes, it's obvious to an individual. My vision's changing. I'm seeing things in my vision. We know something's going on. That's more more of the obvious things a patient may notice. Unfortunately, when it's at that point, if you're noticing it, sometimes it's harder to kind of stabilize an eye and keep seeing someone seeing well. But the real key is if you can pick it up before it actually starts affecting the vision or you have symptoms, you can keep someone's vision at 20 the 20, 20 level, okay. uh, which is good. Now, in terms of affecting the blood vessels, I talk a lot about how it affects the blood vessels in, in the feet and legs where they get atherosclerosis and clogging of the arteries. Is that the same type of way it affects the blood vessels in the eyes? Is it due to the high blood sugar, or is it due to the high blood pressure in the eye? It's more the blood sugar. It does the exact same thing to the blood vessels in the eyes that it, that it's doing, you know, in the feet and in the rest of the body. Okay. And is there way, any way to reverse it besides surgery? Uh, there's no way to no no way to reverse it. Um, once once the damage is there, you, you, it's just about stabilizing at that point. Mm -hmm. So you can't reverse the damage. Now, the exciting thing is they're working, uh, there's new treatments coming down the, the, the pipeline to help reverse the damage. Um, there's, uh, they're starting to do uh, things like injections. There's something called Avastin, okay. um, which has been uh, done really well in stabilizing damage from macular degeneration on the retina. So there's, there's going to be more to than just doing, doing laser surgery in that case. What we tend to, to see a lot of is I see people on, for example, renal dialysis, have they have neuropathy, and then I think it would almost go hand in hand. Those are the type of people that would tend to have they're a lot higher risk, higher risk of having this problem. The more severe it is in other areas of the body, I would think it, it would tend to run hand in hand with the eyes. Correct. Oh, you see the sicker absolutely. patients. Oh, absolutely, um, no question about it. statistics are a lot higher, um, but it's not always always a given either. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes we'll see someone blood sugar very well controlled, you know, type two statistically low risk for diabetic retinopathy and sure enough they'll have and they'll have it they'll have it um, likewise I'll, sometimes I'll see someone will come in you know really bad control um, 
for their diabetes, have all sorts of other problems, I'll look in their retina, will be fine. So it's, yeah. which is what we always like yeah. to see a retina is, is in good shape. But. So so the main reason people don't get it diagnosed earlier is because they're not seeing someone. Because if they saw someone, most people would see that in their retina. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. it's just lack of not having the annual appointments. Yeah. Does insurance usually cover uh, eye appointments like that? Absolutely. So, yeah. It, it's routine with diabetics um, or anybody in general. You always want to check your insurance coverage for the routine. Mm -hmm. Part of a routine eye exam, um, we do a vision exam, you know, typical glasses, mm -hmm. contact lenses, make sure you're seen, seen well um, type exam. But we also do uh, a battery of eye health tests. Um, uh, we check the pressure for glaucoma. We look at in the in, inside of the eyes mm -hmm. for going back to this picture, doing a routine exam. We look inside at the lens for mm -hmm. where cataracts uh, may be common. And then we study the retina for things like diabetes, macular degeneration, glaucoma. Um, and, and that's pretty much with any routine exam when mm -hmm. we study the health. Now, if someone has a history of diabetes, we do sometimes do extra tests to look at, study the retina in more detail uh, to make sure I'm not missing anything. But interesting enough, um, a very common place people get diagnosed with diabetes or the first indication they may have it is a routine eye exam. They come in, no symptoms. Um, you know, everything's been fine. We look at the retina, we might see a few leaky blood vessels. Mm -hmm. It kind of triggers us, okay, we need to get them to their PCP, blood sugar checked. Oh. So the, 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 the eye exam sometimes is the some of the first indication. Okay. So I guess the, the take-home point is a routine eye exam is good for everybody. Um, and what we're even seeing now, uh, people come in every 12 months and their PCPs are saying, okay, you need to get your eyes checked every mm -hmm. year. Um, but uh, but it's, uh, it's very important. To pick it up early. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. No, no problem.